Hey y'all, it's the RTV. Welcome back to the Legend of Zelda Minish Cap, the third temple. We'll see once you first enter, there'll be a couple doors. We're gonna head to the one all the way on the left side first. As you see, we have some new enemies, jumping skulls. Good strategy, just move out of the way or just button mash. So when they land, they land on your fierce blade. At the eye, you know what that means. You just gotta shoot it with your bow. Classic Legend of Zelda strategy. coins laying on the ground you know what that means money eater so have your um, trusty boomerang handy more coins which means another money eater and watch out for the electrical ball as you can see we'll probably have a item that's gonna get us through this sand so it's just a clue to look out for are you gonna have a drive by a shooting but yeah as you can see the eyes will open up again so you gotta do them consecutively you can't really miss so you want to do the one where you're standing in front of it first and then do the, and then shoot the eye when you're passing by him. So I didn't do this on purpose, but it's a good strategy to get them to line up behind each other. There it is, the compass. Great thing about this level is that you can uh, knock enemies down the hole. So we should push that block out of the way, push the bottom one too. So you need the space. I always put the real link on the outside, so that way you can just uh, hit the wall make sure you give the other one enough room sweet first key let's go get it <laughs> And so now we're gonna enter the third room. 
the one on the right side. Morkin stone pieces, awesome! So the places where you see these treasure chests blocked by sand, just mark them down for later in which rooms in the map. See, we have the real link on the outside, so that way, just push them against the wall, so that way, you can line them up correctly. So now we can pull that, you know what's gonna happen. Drop the key. If you notice, there's a secret we can unlock right now. But, we're gonna get the key first, so we had to drop down. As you can see, we're going to be dropping down in Minish Eyes, and then that will lead us into the room next door. And ta -da! We have ourselves a heart piece. So it's going to be the piece, the block on the bottom left corner. Push that down. So now we've entered all the other rooms, and now it's time to enter the one in the middle. The one that was right in front of us when we first entered. So now time to pull out the bow and arrow. Got a couple statues to take care of. You can just stay a good distance back. There it is, found the map. As you can 
can see we have two rooms. Now we have two keys. We can unlock both. We're going to enter the one on the left side first. Alright, and just watch out on the moving platform. There'll be blocks in your way. So you got to do a little ducking and dodging. Again, you got to shoot the eye, but watch out. Because if you stand there too long, the shadow hand will grab you. See, just like that, and it'll take you back to the beginning. You have to walk all the way back here. But don't worry, you'll see them again. And there it is, another night. And we've unlocked the portal to the beginning of the level now. You can just roll. I just like to use the Pegasus boots. There's nothing down that hole. That's just a, just a hole of death. Alright, three tiles on the ground, which means you need to blow up the middle one. <laughs> All right, mole mitts, and there it is, the item that will help us dig through the sand. Boom, a hundred rupees right out the gate. And now we're just going to explore the other rooms that we've been to before. Get all the items that were hidden there. First, in this main hallway, as you can see, you dig through. There are a few items. Chest with a kinstone piece, alright. A hidden door also. Alright, got a couple wizards and uh, torches shooting laser balls at you, like pew pew, but very good weapon to have, boomerang, knock them out, get your 80 shells, which you're just racking up, so whatever we're going to use them for, we'll be able to get everything and some. Alright, I've got some more money on this side. So that covers everything in this main floor. Now we're going to head to this other door that we unlocked before. When you pull the cord, it's going to unlock a bridge that will go away, so you need to use your Pegasus boots or roll, roll, roll. So here you will need to defeat the Shadow Hands. Good thing we have our little blue portal for when that happens.
Oh. Again. Okay, that was weird. Oh, uh, again. What the hell? and I just wanted to fuck them up. Which clearly worked very, very well. Before we use the little minish portal, we gotta come up here a big size first. Alright, so now we want to move these statues, one to the top left corner, and one to the bottom right corner. Now as you guess it, we'll use the other two, we'll cover the other two buttons with our own selves. You should, I should have started at the top. So you'd have the real link leading, but it's a tricky situation, so either way, you still gotta be very careful. Now we can unlock the door, but we're not going to go through it yet. First we're going to turn minute size and then we're going to go through it. But of course the skulls somehow have returned, so we have to take the long route. You can't drop down the holes, remember, because you're minish size. Alright, as you might notice, there are a couple of enemies hiding in some of these holes. And of course, the key's gonna drop down in them, so you're just gonna wanna watch out. You don't want to break open any hole that would unlock an enemy. Yeah, just a simple route. And there's nothing really else in those other holes. Drop down, the ghost won't ghost hands won't notice you as a minish size. Alright, and now we're going to take the time and take out these enemies, because you'll find something special in some of these vases. You can see the good strategy is just to open up one hole. So that way you can just stand there and swing away. It's 
See? Like 50 rubies. Alright, you have two choices here. You're gonna want to take the one on the right. And that will lead you to the chest. And now you have the boss key. So it says you've gotten all the hidden things in the map, but really there's a few things that we haven't gotten yet. Now we'll actually go to the other rooms and get the hidden or the other treasures. statue and a button means you have to drag the statue onto the button. And there's the boss room. Well, we're just gonna take the portal back. We'll start off on the right side. Alright, head all the way up, and then we see we, there's the chest that we saw from the other room, hidden in the sand. And another one. So that's it for the right side. Now we'll head to the door on the left. Or we can fall down. Forget it, this time we're just gonna run through them. Alright. So, just a little trick, leaving a little space for us. Find another Kingstone piece. <laughs> I was walking around, I realized that the moment. Alright, now we can push a button. Woohoo! Treasure. Another kingstone piece, alright! So that seems to be it. I think we can go fight the boss now.
the boss, man. And so, yeah, use fighting this enemy, you'll need the bow and you'll need the the digging gloves. But the bow will come in more handy first. A Mayan Aztec type uh, enemy. So of course you gotta shoot the eyeballs in the hands. But they're not gonna stand still for long, so don't miss too much. And once you do shoot them, take it out as quickly as possible. But it will come back online or functional again, so you gotta take out the other hand real quick. And once you do, they'll drop the head, turn minish, and you go inside, and you can actually do some real damage. See, one of the poles will have an eye on it, and you just take it out. The next time you'll notice uh, entering the head that there'll be sand blocking the all the poles, so you're gonna need to dig around. You just need to look in front of the poles to find out which uh, which one has that eye. And once you dig, you'll see the glowing stuff right there. But I believe it goes the first one, to the top right one. Second time's the back middle. Third time's the back right one. But we'll see. And when he pulls out the, the heavy artillery, you know it's near the end. And of course you don't want to take too long. Yeah, back right, like I said. So that's it. Yay, we won. New heart container, yeah yeah. So we'll head into the other room. Some birdies and stuff. Mm. No element. Tribe of the winds. You've mastered them. Wow. They have mastered the wind. Head for the skies. Hint, hint. Skyward sword. Okay. Now we can see how that connects. Mm-hmm. Ocarina of Wind. Well, if you haven't guessed it, the Ocarina will allow us to go to the other markers where we've unlocked through the obelisk. So if you've been following this and you've been unlocking the obelisk as we've went along, you should have a, a point everywhere in the map that we've been to to go to. Nice little tune, might be familiar. And bam, look at that. Like each point on the map that we've been to. Alright, so we're just gonna head back to Hyrule. And we'll start our side quest adventure part three next time. Thanks for joining me, I'm the RTV, and I'm out.